Hey guys, it's me, Mike Spider Slayer. Guys, welcome to Behind the Scenes at Comic Book Corner. And please excuse Storm for all the barking. Uh, guys, I was inspired by Dark Avenger C86, uh, Chris, and also Comic Uno, uh, Kat, uh, who did their behind the scenes at their particular channels. And I said, you know, that would be awesome if I did one of those videos. So I talked to those guys and they said, man, that would be great if you did one. It would look cool just to see, you know, what goes on. So, yeah, that's what I did. I decided to go ahead and uh, and do it. So, all right, so let's get started. Uh, first, first off is the first thing I do is before I get ready for my videos, well, look at this right here on the big screen, one of my videos. Pretty neat, huh? Yep, it's on the big screen, folks, from Nintendo Wii. Uh, you can download the YouTube app and you can watch your videos on there too. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Well, I look pretty cool on the big screen, huh? Typical movie star. That's right. Just messing around, guys. Uh, so the first thing you do is, uh, before I get started, is I do this. Bam, I put on the proper attire. You can see today I have the Marvel shirt on. That's right. And then... Before I get started, you can see here that I go to the couch. This is the infamous couch for probably about a year and a year and a half or so where I did pretty much all the reviews. It's this couch right here. This is why it was called Comic Book Corner to begin with. It's just because I was on the couch reading books and then I decided to review them. Uh, on the couch. So that's why we were called a comic book corner because I just sat right here on the corner. So first thing I do is I obviously read the current week's books and you can see that right here. These are all the current week's books and I do as many reviews as I can. I do, uh, I split my reviews between Dark Adventure Inc. and Comic Book Corner and like I said I do as many as I can based off of my work schedule and my family schedule. And uh, I love doing it. It's, it's so much fun to do it. And uh, yeah, it's great. And once I get done reading all the great stuff that's come out for the week, I go ahead and grab the infamous Green Lantern hat that I wear on every comic book review. And uh, I put it on. I'm kind of like the Indiana Jones with it. I don't do my reviews without it. And I'll either, you know, sit here on the couch uh, to do a review when the garage is too cold or it's extremely hot and I'll do the reviews right here or I'll go in the garage which I'll show you a little bit later and uh, and uh, I do the reviews in there uh, but I do sit here regardless of when I do the live shows because it's a two hour show and uh, I sit here and I just grab the comic books and I make an instant backdrop so you go from plain wall to comic book madness right here in a matter of seconds and that's what you guys would see for most of the time year year and a half now uh, doing this already and uh, you put them up here you sit down and you do the videos and boom there's your instant drop look at that look at that so when you sit down and you say hey guys Welcome to Dark Avenger Inc.'s live broadcast. There's your backdrop. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's about it there when you, you know, when you set it up on the couch. So, put on the hat. And uh, so that's part one here. Uh, next, I'm going to show you when I'm done reading these comic books, where they all go. So stay tuned for the next part, guys, okay? Stay soon. Stay tuned. Bye. All right, guys. Here we are. Once the comics are all read, they go right in here, in the closet of comics, where they're never to be seen again. <laughs> Not really. I do pull them out every once in a while and, uh, you know, look at them or stuff like that. But these, this is where all the comics go. And actually, the most recent comics go right here 
Uh, this is a few months worth of comics. I see I have some catching up to do and putting them actually away. Um, here we can see the heavy stacks. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. There's a stack up here. And uh, then you got all my boxes, like classic comics right here. This is all my classic comics. And then we have our new 52s. You know, so here we got the Aquamans. We got Batmans. Batman number 7. Batman number 12. Blue Beetle number 1. <laughs> yeah, right. Deathstroke number one <laughs> so i got all that stuff detective comics so you can see that this is where all the comics go hey look at what that's a famous comic of the year right there so we got that and uh here's some amazing spider-man titles that you guys can see yeah this is where it's continued we got big time that's where it starts here you got all my spider-mans all in this box and then there's a couple long boxes right here that you can see. Those are all Spider-Man books too. Um, here's the, the Walking Dead. That's my collection in there. Um, it's pretty pretty covered up by these new comics. I got classic comics. And then here, if you can see, I'll squeeze it in there. Updated Spider-Man titles. We got, oh yeah, Savage Dragon. I know my uh, one of my favorite viewers dropped the bag would uh, would love that box right there on Candy X Men. So yeah, this is this is where all the comics go um, after I read them, and eventually I organize them and I put them in their particular box. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I have to say about that. So next we're gonna go to the infamous. Garage. All right, so stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are, the garage. This is where I've been doing my reviews as of late. Um, we can see here that in my videos, you see the entire, uh, you just see posters behind me. But as you can see, this is a pegboard here uh, that came with this house. And you can see there's still a lot more space for posters. But I obviously don't need it because um, the computer is such a, in such a close-up view. But there's posters that you actually don't see um, in my videos. And the reason why I did this was for a long time I always wanted a cool uh, backdrop um, on what, you know, on to do my reviews. And I never did. Even when I was in the old comic house or in the old house, I, um, you know, had pictures up and it was real dark in there and stuff. And... It was all right. It was better than nothing, but I, I kind of like this. It's like a collage, and uh, this took me pretty much months of collecting these posters um, in order to uh, to get this wall up here. And uh, you know, I go to the comic book shop, and basically, what happens is every so often they have solicitations for story arcs or new comics that are coming out, and uh, the comic shop owner pretty much gives me these posters and. Uh, you know, and and I just saved them, and I said I always said I said in my most recent videos too that I always wanted to do something with them, and I finally got enough to do some, and so you can see that you know we have um, we have posters here uh, as of most recent you know Journey into Mystery, uh, Gambit number one, and we have the No Turning Back story arc from Amazing Spider-Man uh, way back in issue already 688, and. Um, we can see here that we got the Hawkeye poster and, you know, Carnage, Minimum Carnage, and then Avengers vs. X-Men, and, you know, Extreme X-Men. So those are all the solicitation posters. Then you can see that I have uh, the Walking Dead, like, promotional cards here, and then there's another one for Season 3. Um, we got Avengers for Marvel Now, another promotional card, first X-Men promotional card. And uh, here you can see on top of the poster I got comic related, you know, and, com and CR for the website. And then here was my the infamous poster that I got way back when I was at uh, Universal Studios, um, the Civil War poster. I think this is just a, a, an awesome poster. Uh, there's so many other posters to get now, but 
I love this poster so much. I just like how the heroes were divided and, um, you know, Captain America's in the middle with the, sh the blood on the shield. I just think it's a great poster and uh, it it's, it's pretty cool. And um, next, some of these you get from the Marvel preview books. I decided to, you know, cut out and post up there. And probably in time there'll be changes. Um, you know, since it's in the garage, it does get humidity on them and it might get a little bit funny. Or if I see a cool poster, I might replace it. But for right now, this is what's going to be. So here you got from Marvel Previews, Amazing Spider-Man 700. And you got Death of the Family. You got Uncanny X-Force going on here. Rot World. Um, let's see what else we got. Another Rot World with uh, Swamp Thing on there. Um, we got the Rise of the Third Army with the new Green Lantern. Earth 2 with Hot Girl and Alan Scott. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all the posters that are on the wall. And then we got my super duper awesome custom seat guaranteed to, you know, satisfy, you know, your sitting needs. Yes, that's right. It is the step ladder. That's what I sit on to do uh, my reviews. And here is the computer that I use to do them. And then, of course, there's what's on there is um, you can see me on there. Hey, guys, what's up? You can see me on there. There's the background ready to go for the next review. There's the cheapo webcam that I have that I've been using. Hopefully, I'll get a new one soon. And here is the awesome, super-duper custom stand that holds it all together. That's right a stool it's at my level it works and I can't complain about it so when I'm all set and done and we're ready to go we can sit there and go hey guys welcome to comic book corner and this is your host Mike Spider Slayer and if I get tired then we can go into the refrigerator and we can get some nice refreshments, Gatorade, and all sorts of other beverages inside. So, that is it, guys. That is Mike's behind the scenes um, for Comic Book Corner. You can see that the next review that I'm going to do is Hawkeye, issue number five. That's the next book in waiting. And uh, that will be up after this video. So, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes of Comic Book Corner. And guys, as always, until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Guys, take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you real soon. Bye.